Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. I wanna say thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my current subscribers. I appreciate you all. Um, today I'm going to be bringing to you a first impressions and just maybe a quick mini review of the Bath & Body Works um, holiday scents. Some of these I have had in the past and then many of these are brand new. First I'm gonna start with the classic Bath & Body Works um, since now y'all first of all, let's just go ahead and get into the elephant in the room. Don't mind my missing nail look I was about to hit record on this video and one of my nails just hopped off Ain't nobody got time to be fixing it and I'm about to soak these off anyway Because the sister can't halfway type when I cannot cook with these on So that's neither here nor there. So just disregard the get on this as you see on my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the holiday traditions which um, are the Vanilla Bean Noel, um, Winter Candy Apple, and Twisted Peppermint. So I have never owned Twisted Peppermint. This one is gonna be new for me. The fragrance notes include Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Fresh Balsam, and Vanilla Buttercream. So let's get into it. I hope the vanilla is strong in this. I don't know. I like minty scents, um, but I've never actually worn one, but I do like uh, peppermint scented shower gels. Okay, that's good. The vanilla is not very strong though. But it is a good scent. And I could see myself wearing this um, like bedtime. Yeah, very, very different for me. But I do like it. And I love that pink. It is so pretty. The next one. Now this one I've had in the past. But I think I must have caught it during like a semi-annual sale, like that right after Christmas sale. And I think I only had like the shower gel and the lotion and I loved it, like I went through it. Yeah, this smells great. So this is the Winter Candy Apple and the notes include red apples, winter rose petals, candied oranges, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. Okay. Yeah, I love it. I love anything apple scented. And to me, this is a, a complex apple. It's not just like, it's not like the old school um, Bath and Body Works apple. This does have a lot more depth to it and I do still enjoy it. So I do recommend this. And I also picked up the hydration cream just because I know that I will enjoy this. And so I will definitely be pairing these together and layering them and I'm looking forward to using it. Now this next one is controversial. So I have never owned Vanilla Bean Noel. I don't know how, I love vanilla fragrances. Um, I have worn warm vanilla sugar for years. Um, but from last year's reviews, I was catching up on on YouTube, they were calling this no, Vanilla Bean No Smell. <laughs> so this is Vanilla Bean Noel, and let's see what is hitting on this year. It's still really light. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I can barely smell it. Dang, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna wear it on my skin and hopefully it shows up. But um, the scent in this is very light, especially like in comparison to um, warm vanilla sugar. So I'm not, I'm not too sure about this. I literally can barely smell it. The fragrance notes in this includes um, fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped musk, and snow-kissed musk. It's not strong at all. And I thought I was tripping when I smelled it in the store because you know sometimes like you just get so overwhelmed in Bath & Body Works, like you can kind of go nose blind almost. I don't know. I also picked up the lotion. Um, let's see if that has some smell. I'm gonna just try it on my hands. I am a little bit ashy. So let's see if this will redeem the spray or at least give us an opportunity to boost the scent through layering. Mm -mm. It's, it's very faint. I, all right, I don't recommend that one, guys. That's a no for me, a no for me. So let's move on to the next set of fragrances. Um, I did pick up five other fragrances um, from the holiday releases 
the first one that I picked up is Snowflakes in Cashmere. The fragrance notes in this one includes warm, I'm sorry, vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. Now I was drawn to this one because here lately I have been trying or I've been wearing um, Cashmere Glow which I saw in reviews on YouTube as well and I absolutely love it. So I was like Cashmere, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into that, give it to me. So Snowflakes and Cashmere, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna tell you straight up. If you like Cashmere Glow, if you like anything with a warm kind of musky scent, this is good. This is this is good this is real good i would love to see how it's gonna wear if it has any longevity to it i think this would actually pair well with um the kaoli musk so i'll definitely be um wearing those together but this one is good it has it has a perfume quality to it yeah it smells like a perfume to me that's good yes okay so that is snowflakes and, snowflakes and cashmere i do recommend yes Next up, we have Bright Christmas Morning, and the notes in this include um, red, ripe, ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. We're going to find out. It sounds like it's fruity. So let's see. Oh, that's good. I love a good berry fragrance, y'all. Yes, yes. Yes, this is, this is, the berries are there. It's very bright. Yes. This is definitely a fun, fruity fragrance. It smells like punch. Ooh, yes, yes, yes to this. Yes to this, recommend, yes. Love it. Very fruity. You can smell the berries. You can smell the apple. Um, the orange is bringing through that citrus. I love it. I recommend this one for sure. Next up, we have Winter Berry Wonder, and the fragrance notes include Ruby Frost Winter Berry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. I think I'm gonna like it. I love berries and I love vanilla. So we're gonna see. Okay, so Winter Berry Wonder. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Yes, the berries are definitely coming through. I'm not catching as much of the of the vanilla. I think it's there in the background. But this is also very um I think it's a well-rounded scent. It's this is good. I would also recommend it. So again, if you are into berries, if you like fruity fragrances, you would enjoy this. But it also has a perfumey quality to it to me as well. Yeah, it's good. Really good. Recommend. Highly recommend. I like it. The next um, is Strawberry Snowflakes. And the notes in this include Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream and Iced Bergamot. So if you notice all of these kind of have with the exception of the Christmas bright Christmas morning they all have um, some kind of warmth to them in addition to the fruity scent and I just love that because um, I try to go like just maybe like completely fruity like for the summertime but um for the winter oh that is very creamy oh my goodness I love this okay okay strawberry snowflakes come through. I think it's that iced bergamot I'm picking up that's giving it a bit of a warmer note, but you can still smell the strawberries and whipped cream together. Yo, this is good. This is very warm. I would say that this is probably the warmest um, in comparison. Let me see as, if it's as warm as this. Yeah, these two are definitely um, warm scents. This is definitely warm and fruity, uh, thanks to that bergamot. And then um, this one is just like a creamy, cozy fragrance. Like, oh yeah. Yes, very light. This one is very light, not overpowering at all. So that's why I'm curious to see the longevity of it. But it's, it's good. So both of these, yes ma'am, they are for me. 
The last fragrance I picked up, you guys, is the new um, Dream Bright. So I picked it up in the um, hand cream and the fine fragrance mist. And then I also picked it up in the perfume spray. And I think this packaging is gorgeous. Ooh, look, it matches my nails. Shut up. Look, let me show you with the good nail. Okay. <laughs> yes, y'all. It matches my nails. Oh, that was coincidental. Okay, so the notes in this include sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. I love vanilla. So you see it's a recurring theme here. Um, I did see, see this in the store and I did test it out and I... But it was really quick, like I tested it at the register um, and then decided to order it later. So let's see what this one is doing. Okay, that's pretty. This is very perfumey, very perfumey. And it's definitely reminding me of like a thousand wishes, but maybe a bit um, fruitier because of the berries. But it's nice, it's a good fragrance. So I do think I'll enjoy this. Um, let's see if, this, if the cream smells similar. Not really picking it up from the tube. I'm just gonna rub it on top of the vanilla bean Noel because the vanilla bean Noel does not have much of a smell. Okay, and it's nice in the fragrance. I'm sorry, in the lotion as well, the hand cream or the body cream. So I think I'm going to enjoy this. If I had to pick a favorite of everything that I've purchased, I would say my favorite from the traditional um, holiday scents is definitely the um, Winter Candy Apple. I love this. And I already knew I was gonna like it because I used it up a few years back. And then I would say my other favorite would be, or if I had to rank them, I would say of the ones that I purchased, okay, just of the ones I purchased, I would say um, Strawberry Snowflakes. I'm gonna have to give that the number two spot. Let me see. Mm. Snowflakes and Cashmere is gonna be number one for me because I am like on a warm and cozy vibe right now. Um, Winterberry Wonder. Ooh. Okay, you know what, maybe this is number one. This is number one. Number one. Number two. Number three. And I don't wanna do this to bright Christmas morning, but okay, it could be tied for three, or this is three and this is four. I don't know, but I enjoyed them. Um, and then I also, because they were on a good sale as well, I grabbed um, two, um, cologne sprays for my husband, antique wood, and ocean. And these are repeat buys for me, for, for me to gift to him. Um, he uses them up every time. I think everybody kind of knows what teak wood smells like, but I'll drop the um, fragrance notes um, on the side of the screen here for you guys, but it smells really good. And then Ocean is a very clean, fresh scent, and it's very aquatic, hence the name Ocean, and I love it on him. So I try to always pick something up for him when I see them on sale, um, because these are great gifts. I either usually put them like in his Christmas stocking or like for Father's Day or our anniversary. Um, I tend to like make them like a little gift basket and these go really well in it. So just in case you guys were looking for um, gift ideas for men, I like these better than the aerosol sprays from Bath & Body Works. I feel like um, these just have a better quality to them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.